Okay, so now I want to show you how to uh, crochet a sleeve since we have uh, started out with this little uh, open area. And if you just wanted to have um, a little vest that, or a little sweater that, uh, that didn't have any sleeves, you could stop uh, at this point. But if you do want to have sleeves, I'm going to show you how to attach the yarn and then uh, continue to build it out. Now this little doll has fairly short arms, okay, so this, uh, this sleeve only has to be, uh, you know, not that long. I want you to notice uh, the texture on the outside that looks a little bit like uh, knitting, you know, not exactly, but uh, we have kind of a smooth uh, surface. We turn it over uh, to the inside, you'll see that it has a much kind of bumpier uh, knotted uh, texture. Okay. Uh, when you are crocheting in the round, you have uh, two very different textures on the inside and the outside of your form. Okay, And if you want to have the smooth side out, then this needs to be, uh, the front needs to be on the outside, Okay, because this is considered the front. If you want this texture on the outside, then you want it to be, this to be uh, on the outside. So I'm going to show you how to attach the thread. Okay, you get uh, some matching yarn. Uh, choose one of the stitches, and I usually choose the one at the very uh, bottom, you know, where the armpit would be. Okay, insert your hook through that stitch, loop uh, the yarn over it, and pull it through. Okay, and now we're going to wrap both ends around, both the tail and uh, the yarn that we're going to actually be crocheting. I'm going to wrap that around and pull it through. Now, if I want the smooth side out, okay, then I need to keep my crochet hook on this side of the fabric, okay? So I'll be actually crocheting this direction. And I am just going to choose, uh, every time there are two threads to choose from, I'm just going to choose one. I'm going to use uh, both threads one more time, and then I'm going to drop the, uh, the short end. Okay, so it's no longer going to be used. Okay, and then yarn over and pull through both. Okay, we're going to be doing single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, now on all of these stitches that have uh, more than one um, thread, we're going to be going in the back of each of those. And uh, you might have some stitches on this first round that uh, do not have uh, two threads on the top, in which case you'll just go ahead and go around uh, the single thread. Okay, so here we have uh, two threads. I'm going to not worry about the front one, I'm just going to go in the back, tighten that. This yarn is a little bit hard to see because it has so many different uh, kind of colors in it, but if you can see there's, uh, it's almost like a little V there. Okay, we have one strand back here, one strand up here, and they make that little V. You want to go in uh, the back strand and just get one strand if it actually is kind of caught on another one. You don't want to grab that. And then complete the stitch. Okay, once again we have two threads. I'm just going in the back one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. There are other kinds of stitches uh, in crochet where you use uh, more than one strand of yarn uh, when you go through 
uh, the previous stitches, but for this particular stitch to make it look somewhat close to knitting, uh, we're just going in the back loop. Now we've come all the way around and we're just going to go in the back loop. Okay, so notice that my crochet hook is working from the outside of this little sleeve and every time I insert the hook I'm pushing the hook toward the middle of the sleeve. Okay, That is the direction that you crochet if you want the front um, the, the front of the crochet to face the outside. If you want the back of the crochet to face the outside, then you're going to be working in the opposite direction. Okay, You're going to actually have the crochet hook come in from the inside. Okay, This is the opening. So I'm going to be working from the inside and going out. Okay, and um, you know, whether you choose to go in the front or in the back, uh, it'll be a slightly different uh, look, but it will not be that smooth look that uh, we have on this sleeve. Okay, because this is the crochet hook coming from the outside into the interior of the sleeve and not the other way around. Okay, so uh, doing it the other way around, you have the crochet hook kind of coming from the direction inside the sleeve and going out. Okay, so that will create a completely different texture. So you just come out or come in from the outside uh, to put the the front of the crochet on the outside of the sleeve, which will create that little bit of a, a knitted look. Okay, and then continue to do that until you uh, have the sleeve about the same length as this and you can actually count uh, the rows uh, by these little lines. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And then after I'm done with that, I'll show you how to make this little uh, this little cuff. Okay, and you'll be surprised at how fast this goes because the rows are actually very short and uh, you're, you're only making six rows. Okay, so now to create this little cuff, so you can see uh, that it, it has kind of a feeling of ribbed uh, a, a ribbed cuff, okay, because we have some stitches that stick out and others that stick back. So this is called uh, front and back post double crochet. Okay, to create double crochet, we put the yarn over before we insert it into the stitch. Okay, and in order to make either a front or a back post stitch, we are not going just through like this and then working our stitch. Okay, We're going through and around. So this would be considered a front post crochet because this uh, is the post of the previous stitch and that is what we're going behind. Okay, So you pull the loop through and now you have three loops on your hook. Okay, this is a double crochet. Put the yarn over and go through two of the loops. Okay, and then go yarn over and through the other two. Okay, so we've just completed a front post double crochet. Now we're going to do a back post. So we're going to go around this stitch again, but if we go in this direction, we're going to have another front post. Okay, because the stitch is wrapped around the front of the hook, okay, and that's not what we want. I want I need to put the yarn over first. Don't forget to put the yarn over first, otherwise you will not end up with a double crochet, you'll end up with a single crochet. Okay, so what we want to do, this is the stitch we just completed, we want to put the crochet hook behind this stitch and then come out and around. Okay, so the crochet hook is in front of this previous stitch. Okay, this will push that stitch back, and so this is um, going the opposite way. Okay, so then we put the yarn over and 
pull through. Okay, so now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through those two, yarn over, pull through those two. Okay, so I'm going to do one each um, one more time. Okay, so we're just going to go all the way around. Okay, so once you've made it all the way around, we're going to tie this off. So we're going to go through both of the top loops, yarn over, pull through this, and pull through that. That's a slip stitch. And then we're going to go yarn over and pull through one more time. Uh, cut this second loop, pull the long tail through, and then tighten this one. Okay. Now all you need to do is turn your little sweater inside out, and we're just going to weave this end in. Okay. And you just weave in ends just uh, for a little way. You don't have to use up this entire uh, end of your yarn, but we're just trying to kind of anchor it. Okay, and if you want to make it a little bit sturdier, you can pull it through one more stitch and then just kind of trim it. So that's finished. Um, then we're going to finish all of these little strings uh, in the same way. We're going to pull them into the interior of the sweater. Uh, like for this one, for example. Take this, pull it to the interior, and then uh, fi just find some stitches that we can insert our hook in, like these. Take this, yarn over, and then pull through all of those to kind of anchor it. Okay, and then you can trim that. Okay, so you just want to uh, take care of all of those loose ends. Now we're going to pay attention to, looks like this is the side that we actually have two little um, uh, openings to insert over buttons. Okay, so on this side we're going to sew the buttons. Choose your needle and this actually does not need to be a sharp needle. I'll get a little bit of the matching yarn or you could use contrasting yarn um, if you wanted to. You could even use uh, yarn that matched the color of the button, you know, if you wanted that to be kind of hidden. Okay, so then we just go from the back and then back down that a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm actually just going to tie a square knot. So uh, on the left side the yarn is in front, it goes around back, pull it tight. On this round uh, the short end is on the left, the opposite side, and pull that tight. Okay, so that's a, a square knot. Now I'm going to take my needle and go back through whoops, once and twice. Then on the back, I'll just insert the needle in some of this yarn and tie a knot. Okay? So that's the first button. Do the same thing with the second one. You can double check position of the buttons, and that looks about right. Tie a square knot with two overhand knots tied uh, with the opposite thread in front, which is actually or the opposite direction in front for each of the knots. It's actually the same, uh, the same thread. 
Okay, so then you're going to finish weaving in the ends. Uh, so there you have your little uh, soft felt paper doll.